Oh, hold on a minute. Uh-huh, yes. Uh, you were just like, your first point, comic book movies are stupid. I didn't say comic book movies were stupid. I said it's hypocritical to criticize that he has a leg brace that fixes his knee pain. But it's okay that he has a car that turns into a motorcycle that fires rockets. I just said there's a hypocrisy within that. I like when the car said goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome to the comment show. You talk about Dark Knight Rises. It's only been 10 years. What did you guys like about the movie or not like about the movie? Tell us in the comments. But don't argue too hard or Catwoman will show up and shoot you with a rocket and wipe away all the problems. And if you don't or do like it, you're a sheep. Uh, Isn't it uh, lame uh, that it, all it took was an entire ballistic missile to kill him? The first, After all that? The first comment Weird. is from the demo disc. They really uh, shit on that character. <laughs> no AH no, says... No, he died because he got punched in the mouth a lot Where's and one of the little pipes popped out. That's not true. He put them back in. I just watched it. Uh, I used to watch this for the... <laughs> No, I used to watch this for the porn, is what No AH says. But now, no, he says no, no. I think he meant to say that now, it's for the mothers be aware. Mm. And my mother should be aware. I don't know what you mean by that. But at this point, his mom. But yeah. this point, I think we've probably played Mothers Be Aware and we might have even danced on a dance pad. Uh, and let me tell you. We haven't. It was comedy gold. What? We didn't. There's what? no way we unlocked it. We don't have, we, we still don't know how to unlock this all. Mothers be aware that your daughter's too creepy. All right, this is from Sino Evil. The perception gameplay. Uh, Rachel B writes in, I realize a lot of the offensive or edgy humor Funhouse does is purely in jest. It's not. Uh, but there is something very refreshing about at least not taking any of Lawrence's bullshit. Yeah. No, it's just shit. I'm sorry. Well, you showed me, didn't you? Uh, just like Elise shows me every day. That's the dynamic we have to have. We have to have somebody says something extreme. We have to have somebody else that counterbalance and says, no, no, you're wrong, you're wrong. Don't make fun of blind people. Uh. Here's something that you may not have known. We actually painted her into that role and she didn't want that. Yeah, I don't like being penciled into the, you know, nag. But we, we grabbed all the good roles, so yeah, she had yeah. to be the... Yeah, I had to be like, oh, uh, yeah, I hate blind people too. Well, Pete's the bad boy. Uh, this is from Star Trek. What was it called? The Wrath of Porn? It's when we were in the old Star Trek ship. It was really funny. Oh, yeah. You got a better idea, says, Adam just calmly gave no fucks as they got shot to hell, and I loved it. He didn't care. He was the gaffin. He didn't oh, care. He didn't know what he was he doing. He didn't do anything. He didn't know what he was doing. Uh, weren't you on weapons? Why are my torpedoes firing? I don't know, because you knew how to fire them earlier. Sir, sir. I kept hitting disarmed torpedoes, that's why. That was Captain. He doesn't even remember what he was doing there. <laughs> well, he's had all those buttons. Who knows what's going on? Who's yeah. the Vulcan? This is from the Emoji Movie uh, podcast, film podcasting we did. It's from John C. Best movie podcast ever. Please have two of you go out to suffer through bad movies for our enjoyment again. Also, booze. Keep the booze there. I don't know. I mean, that, that was kind of a one time thing. I know Lawrence enjoyed it. You go see Dark Tower. I don't see though. People it's, wanted to hate Emoji Movie. Something about Emoji Movie, people mm. want, yeah, it's wanted to hate man. because like we just bandwagon. That's you all. saw the Triple X movie. That was awesome. Yeah, and that, we talked about that. He lives for this shit. And so, so but yeah. no one cared. I mean, we kind of did that with Congo though, he where we're like the entire plane that blew up behind. Him. We're just, I think we're just trying to have more fun on the podcast. So we'll see. It's not canceled yet, so that's good. We got a real director, and you guys didn't watch it. That one bums me so out. So now we're just gonna shove Barry. At least fucking the man. Uh, busted ass for that. I don't think that's what it means. We should get Christopher Nolan on and Lawrence can yell at him. Yeah. Our movie is stupid. I'm gonna go watch Stephen Baldwin. Yeah. Look, what did you watch with Stephen Baldwin? Baldwin? Dead Weekend, the one I was looking for. He fucks an alien girl in room 69 of a hotel. Oh, Take some notes, know. Chris yeah, Nolan. Page Beast, WWE 2K17, Bucks gameplay part eight from Zyron and Carnassian. Wow. Elise looked quite charmed by Xavier. Look out, James. Well, 402 upvotes, don't lie. I thought Xavier was quite charming, so to be honest. And, uh, you know, my I have my druthers about me, but if he were to come back to the office again, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to pile him through the table, to pile through the table, because this is the calling you out, Xavier Woods. I don't care if you're handsome, good-looking, built man, because you come in here- He's rich, too. And you're rich. And famous. funny are you and famous? famous. Are you gonna sexually assault the guest? If you come back here, Elliot's gonna turn you over and just pile you. He's gonna Ew. just put you through the table and just give it to you. He's gonna take you down. Was that was that like good like tough guy? Listen. Yeah. Tough. I, feel, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean I, I, I called him out and I said, Yeah, no, I feel you didn't call him out. I did I said I scared your dogs is uh from WWE. Part seven, I think. I don't know the title because I took a photo of my comments differently this week from Tyrese. He just says, Xavier is so right, they should get rid of unlimited reversals. I'm not so sure because didn't it make for one of the better matches that yeah, we've had? It did. Wasn't it? 
I saw a lot of comments that agreed with that statement, so. Why don't you just wrap your phone up like it's a sandwich? It's just impulse. Okay. <laughs> it's comforting to him. It reminds him of his years folding laundry. Uh, the Star Trek bridge crew, I think this is part one, I want to say. Jacob Duvall commented, just found out I've been cheated on by my girlfriend. But damn, is this video fun. All right. And uh, Jacob, you know, I had a few ideas for you. Uh, the first idea is maybe instead of, uh, you know, calling your girlfriend and crying and then trying to get her back, uh, go get Star Trek Bridge Crew uh, with, the, with the Oculus Rift. And you sit down and then you can stare, you can stare at any of those women's asses in the game. Bruce is trying to deflect because he actually is the one whose girlfriend cheated on him. Don't ask your girlfriend uh, who she cheated on with, Bruce. Because I think instead, go play Star Trek Bridge Crew. Because it's a lot of fun and you're gonna be there for hours and get immersed in the VR. What if his girlfriend plays Star Trek Bridge Crew? They're gonna find each other online. And then she's gonna be like, she's gonna be like in the chair, but she's gonna be like doing this because Bruce is gonna be pounding her from the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> Doom to fail. This is strafe gameplay from Jack B. Nimble, 52. That's the best number, actually. Congratulations, you won. Uh, Jack writes, cranberry juice doesn't actually make you pee less. However, if you have a urinary tract infection, cranberry juice will reduce the adhesive properties of the bacteria, which will allow you to excrete the bacteria in your urine which will make you pee less after the bacteria is eliminated. Bruce was both, Bruce was both wrong and right. The more you know. Thank you, 50%. Right. Well, yeah, that's better than oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Warp speed. Yeah. Charge off warp coils, hurry. There's no such thing as wrong and right in this world. Everyone's wrong and right all the time. Remember, I said that next time I say something wrong. My second comment also comes to the Emoji Movie Podcast. Uh, where's the oh. Dunkirk oh. podcast? They ask uh, once again. I think it just said that we like. Well, no, it's a good place. So our thoughts on Dunkirk. It's um, almost good, but then the soldier who had the knee problem put on the cyber brace, and then he could run away from all the Germans. <laughs> Different movie, that's Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I enjoyed it. Thought it was, it was good. Amazing, amazing film. It's, it's an intense theater. film. Peak, theater did theater. you like it? Peak. I thought you said at least. Yeah. No, no, Dunkirk was good. It bummed me out, so I had to go home and play Rock Band on the drums. There I it is. I thought it was too unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, podcast done. Oh, Use man, uh, so promo cool. code, code FILMHOUSE to no, get... No, 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 this is not FILMHOUSE. Fuck, this is sorry. Right, here's another one I from FILMHOUSE. Dirty Bim Bam says, uh, it's a long comment to so, like is. cut it in it's half. Right, settle it. Um, Literally. I thought the point about why did the Lego movie work while the Emoji movie didn't was really interesting and then says a lot of stuff. Good job, James. Um, and then, then the emojis walk around in a world made of stuff that is obviously not emojis and it just feels really inconsistent and out of place. Too long, didn't read. It all comes down to the emoji movie not being able to answer why emojis? While the Lego movie has several cool and unique justifications for the theme. I thought that was an excellent, you said a lot more than that, but you, you spelled it out very well and I thought you made an excellent clarification on that point. I totally agree with you. I think it makes a lot of sense that by the emoji movies, it's like, it feels like it's a cash in. And not that it's justified. It has a reason for being an emoji movie other than someone was like, this is something that isn't owned. That little boy's trying to get laid. Whereas the Lego movie was all about why Legos that's what that emoji is for. Have to be the, for. Uh, about the movie. Just, I, I the Legos, Legos bang though in the movie, don't they? Uh, this absolutely. is also from the Cage Beasts uh, WWE uh, gameplay. It baffles from John Marana. It baffles me how Bruce and Elise forget the controls every time. It may be weeks, but it shouldn't be hard to look at a game you played and go, oh yeah. The resiliency thing or not pin breaking, I can understand because they haven't played wrestling games before. Not true, we used to play a ton of WCW vs NWO N64, ever heard of it? But controls are pretty simple. It's like four buttons and a trigger. If I don't, that information to me is pointless. My brain, does not want to keep room for it, so I'm just gonna immediately abandon it. The second, stupid. the second it's not relevant in my life, no. I'm like, nope, you need to get out of here because something else needs to go in your place. Well, um, Bruce, why... Bruce, I can't uh, vouch for it because it's stupid and dumb. Also, and I, I get, I have James here. I can just ask yeah, James, ask and he'll tell him. It explains like why Elise, like Elise, Elise Armstrong hasn't won a single women's championship Elliot, title. Elliot, Elliot Armstrong. No, Elise, what you Elise what did, win the women's title. You don't even know who they Elliot are. Elliot Armstrong. What did you say to me? Elliot Armstrong isn't legally allowed to compete for the so women's title. Oh, no, man, she's a mad dog at all. Oh, right dog I'm not Xavier, all right? Stop trying to get close I, to me. What I need is a tag team partner to step up and rep by my side. Show's canceled. <laughs> yeah. Bring us home. Yeah. My big, last big one. Finish. Big finish. All right, this is from Joshua Ingram on, I 
think it was the Stench Trench, I believe is the title. Oh, I love I that title. I gotta remember the name. that title. He says, been trying to get my girlfriend to watch you guys for ages now, dot, dot, dot. This wasn't the best one to introduce her to. Why? Hey, we talked about her. Yeah, taught her about vaginas. That's, That's what the, the vagina is. It's the hole. No, no. Yeah, it is. I'm it's the cavity. Matt, did you learn anything from Stench Trench? I learned things, well... <laughs> yeah, you did. You I think I was, was reminded of things I learned years ago, but forgot the details. Uh -huh. of it. Push like, it out like the controls in Elise's yeah. head. <laughs> if you don't see it, it doesn't exist. That's you get one of two things. You get, a, you get to know what a labia is, or you remember how to play WWE. You don't get both. Mm. Labia oh. never forgets. That's the... Pubis Mons. Pubis Mons. <laughs> what would Ira Glass do in this situation? Air horns. Uh, air horns is what I thought of. Um, classic Ira. Yeah, classic Ira. So I'm not gonna lie, a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I should have dropped it way <laughs> earlier than I did. Turns out I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm resorting to some interesting techniques to try and get the views up on YouTube. Turns out it's not perfect. So I'm workshop. I'm workshop. <laughs>